Hi guys, my name is Jai and I'm a uh, postgraduate student here at Cardiff University and uh, I'm going to take you on a tour around the business school campus today and hopefully we're going to find one of our long-standing residents inside to give us a bit of a tour around. Let's go see if we can find him. So the building we're going to go into now is the uh, postgraduate teaching centre and we're just going to go into the foyer where we should be met by uh, our long-standing resident Mr. Dylan the Dragon and there he is how are you doing Dylan? Should we go for a walk around the PTC? Perfect right where are you going to take us first? Ah the, uh, the trading floor <laughs> trading floor is uh, in this room here as you can see a real time uh, market simulation environment Dual screens, everybody working hard. Far above my head. Oh, we're going on to the next one, let's go. Over there you'll find uh, always a friendly member of staff. High five for everyone here. Keep walking through the reception centre where you find tea, coffee. This is where Dylan goes to uh, get refreshed, grab a couple of sandwiches in between studying. Give us a wave. <laughs> Where to next, Dylan? That way, let's go. We go and have a look at the main lecture theatre. 0 0.16. So this is where Dylan has most of his business lectures. All the biggest lectures will be here, so we'll have a quick look, but more pictures are available online. As you can see, seating for about 250 people in here. Great acoustics, everything you need to learn everything about business. How good are the lectures in here, Dylan? Great. Right, so now Dylan's going to take us to some of the smaller lecture theatres. They're probably in use at the moment, but if you do want to see some more, uh, there are pictures online. This is where most of the uh, seminars and tutorials will be held for the business courses. Always good to look both ways when crossing the hall. There we can see some students hard at work in the lecture theatres. All set up for great learning. Don't distract them, Dylan. And looks like he's going to take us up to the second floor. He always takes the stairs, does Dylan. He's got to burn off the calories. So there's uh, plenty of access around the building. Like I said, there's two stairwells. Oh, there's the lifts to take as well. Usually you can get up here a bit faster if you're not a dragon. <laughs> Handrails to hold on to to keep your foot in. <laughs> and then we come through to a few more of the smaller lecture theatres. As you can see, more students hard at work. Plenty of space for everything you need where there's tutorials or meetings. Facilities dotted throughout, including gents, females, but no dragon's restroom, unfortunately. Disabled access through the lift. And one of our study common rooms. Dylan's awfully people shy, he likes to check a room before he goes in. One thing to remember about dragons is they are more scared of you than you are of them. Hit the lights, Dylan. Perfect. Plenty of space to do a bit of studying or just to relax. Equipped with screens for group working and facilities for cooking. Best keep up with Dylan. He's eager to get out. Thank you, Dylan. And off to one of our medium-sized lecture theatres. 
which holds about 100 people. More than 100, 150 people. 200 people. 175. 160. 155. So, somewhere, right? <laughs> somewhere in there. Don't worry, Dylan, I got the lights this time. Let's see if you can count them all yourself. And if you go online, you should be able to spot Dylan in each one of these rooms. See if you can find him in all of them. Now he's going to take us upstairs where we're going to see the MBA study lounge and some of our uh, relaxing study areas including something that we're going to be working on over the next year our postgraduate study garden keep up dylan as you can see lovely welsh day outside we go into the uh, Still in the uh, room's not locked. This is the MBA study lounge, similar to the MSC, just a little higher up. Lovely views out of the windows there. <laughs> a bit warm in here, according to Dylan. And as we walk through, the lights all come on automatic, all very modern, more facilities throughout. And I think we get to see the quiet room, always available for any religious needs in here. And it sounds like Dylan has taken us out to the study garden where you can come out and relax on a sunny day. And we encourage anyone to come in and try their hand at gardening. Maybe plant a few herbs. We're all very eco-friendly in the Cardiff University Business School. And then our proudest feature, Dylan's gonna show us where he keeps his bees. So out on our roof terrace, if we just come here, don't want to let the bees get in, sting the students. You can see just down the end there, we have some beehives making our very own Cardiff University honey. And then we're going to just head down the other side of the building and hopefully meet few more of the staff. There's the bees. Which one's that, Dylan? It's Lucy. Ah, okay. If you want access to the bees, you have to speak to the beekeeper at reception, which is Dylan himself. <laughs> He'd be more than happy to take you out. I had to get a really big beekeeper costume to fit him in. More room of medium size and plenty of group study areas here. It's usually quieter over this side of the building. Lead the way Dylan, stop distracting people. Ah, <laughs> oh, now you're gonna take us in the lift. You've had enough of the stairs, have you? Usually fairly quick. Burn your calories by doing a little jig. No, other one, Dylan. There you go. Plenty of space in these, enough to fit a dragon plus more. Doors You don't know which floor you're going to, just choose them all. It's floor two, where we've just been. Down to floor one, where we'll go and see the postgraduate hub. This is Dylan's favourite part of the PTC, because everybody's super helpful. And 
just through here. We find the hub where the friendly staff will be happy to help you with any of your needs. Are we going to go and see the staff, Dylan? Yeah. Through we go. And the friendly hub staff are all going to give us a wave. And if you're lucky, you'll get a dragon hug off Dylan yourself. <laughs> Only if you're really lucky. Let people get back to work, Dylan. <laughs> Have we got anything else, Dylan, to show people? Yeah, still got more to go. Gonna go. Down the stairs, definitely down the stairs. Oh, he's going to take us to the James Bond room, I think. Yeah. It's always a lot easier going downstairs than it is going up, isn't it, Dylan? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you want to take it nice and slow when you're going down the stairs, then safety always comes first. Maybe a little bit faster. Always remember, even if you have wings, it's always best to be safe on the stairs. <laughs> and through we go to the bottom floor. Even more facilities, never have to go far. And then 007, the James Bond room. A very cute meeting room. Perfect for group meetings you have. I don't know what any of that means on the board. Dylan, you wrote your name on there yesterday, where did it go? Dylan was learning Welsh, as I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunity for anybody in Cardiff at university to do as well. Oreo! That was, that was Welsh for raw. He's not great at Welsh yet. And we're back out to the reception area. He's going to take us outside to end the tour. So this is our outdoor area on the rare Welsh day. And Dylan's gonna head off into the sunset. Bye, Dylan. Hoyle vow.